Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to tonight's prophetic live event. I hope we have a great crowd. I know we're about to get into Memorial Day weekend, but as you get on, let me know you are on tonight. I'm looking forward to being with all of you tonight, definitely. We got Rebecca with us tonight and several others, so I'm glad that everyone is joining tonight uh, with this amazing night that we have uh, to be able to prophesy. And I'm actually going to prophesy to many of you tonight uh, as opposed to having an interview with someone. So I'm excited about being with you guys today on this. Hey, Robin, I hope you're doing good today. And Marianne, I hope everyone is doing blessed today. I hope everyone has great... Um, and Brittany's on, and Shirley's on. I hope everyone is going to have a great Memorial Day weekend. I really am. So, uh, good evening, Rebecca. So, I hope everyone is doing great. Kim from Connecticut's on here. Uh, my Gosh, all of you guys are on here. My California friend. Uh, I mean, all of us are on here. So, uh, I love it, love it, love it. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to tonight. So, let me just say this first of all. Rise is on here as well. Many of you guys are on here. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Hey, I, I, I prophesied to you before. I, I hope you're doing good as well. So, um, sound can't hear? Huh. I don't know. Can everybody else hear me? Okay. Can everybody else hear me okay? You can? Okay. Just say yes if you can hear me okay. Hi from Norway. Blessings, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here by gate. Awesome, awesome. Glad everybody's on here tonight. So, before we get started tonight, you, yeah, okay, you can hear me. I thought so. I thought so. I thought, was on, I thought the, the sound was doing good. Before we get started tonight, let me say this real quick. Uh, I've got several things going on um i'll tell you guys about here of course this month we before we do our prophetic life night i'll tell you how we're going to do it prophesy to everybody that's on here but before we do it let's talk about the book of the month for may which is destroying fear now it is now available now people who are not on the pro well people who are on the program got the first uh first week of may those of you uh who are not on our, our book of the month program it's now officially online on the website you can buy it at full price uh for the paperback and or the ebook as well so you can do it right now so that's really good so that's uh i'm so glad for that and uh oh pam's on here i didn't know pam was gonna be on here i'm so glad she's on her night so definitely get the book tonight also let me just say this real quick before we get into prophesy on tonight you know um a lot of times I do push the Book of the Month program, and the reason why, because we've got so many good books coming out, and I'll give you guys just a, just a foretaste of, um, like, what is that song, Foretaste of Glory Divine, of what's about to come out here, so that's why I'm saying you desperately need to make sure you're on our Book of the Month program from going to the website, but uh, a book coming out very soon I'm, I'm going to do is The Processes of God, which I actually dive into um, why God does what he does and how to lead us into and through things and situations to tell you what God's process is within your life. This has been a amazing, amazing book because so many people have been asking about that. Uh, and another book coming out soon that I just finished is, are you ready for this one? Visualization, a biblical perspective of visualization. And I go into detail about sight and the Greek words of, of seeing. I mean, all this fun stuff. So, yes, 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 yes. That's going to be one coming out soon. So, those of you not on our Book of the Month program, you need to get on it. I've, I've also, I'm going to do a series uh, in the future that will not be offered to everybody else on the glory. Uh, I've already got several of them lined up on the power of the glory. Uh, and so, this that's going to be really, really good. Uh, done a lot of research, a lot of things from the kingdom, from the spirit you know, point of view as well. Uh, so, yeah, you definitely make sure you're on the Book of the Month program. And also tonight, um, yeah, they're really, really good. I'm excited about them. Uh, also, let me say this tonight. Um, as we do this Prophetic Life Night, you guys, please, 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 please understand I do this because I love you guys, but I'm also doing this to raise donations and funds. We do this once a month for that reason as well. So those of you on Instagram, please buy batches. <coughs> As you can tell, I got a little cough still left over from this past weekend. So you guys buy some badges if you can on Instagram. That would mean the world to me. That's basically giving donations through Instagram. They go straight to our ministry. Those of you on Facebook, it's called Stars. You can buy some Stars, which is actually the donation as well. So please do this. All right. I always, I always tell people no. You know, we don't, we don't ride the waves of freebies. We ride the waves of the glory. Amen. Which basically is saying, you know, given it shall be given. All right. We want to bless those who bless us. That's what the kingdom is all about. Amen. So I'm excited for you guys tonight. Give me one second. Let me grab this book here. All right here. All right. So how we're going to do this tonight is um, 
we're going to be able to have a, a, a lodgings in my, was lodgings? How you say lodgings? In my mouth? Anyway, so that, because I know my throat gets a little dry doing this tonight. So, um, thanks, Gene. You're awesome. Um, so, here's the way we're going to do this, all right? I've got Facebook people, and I've got Instagram people in here, all right? So, once again, let me say this for those who didn't, who know me, doesn't, don't know the guidelines, and that is, please do not say, pick me, choose me, I need a word. Please don't do that, because the likelihood of you getting a word might be very slim, because it pushes everybody else up, and we don't want to be selfish, because we're all we're all going to be led by the Spirit of God. We want to be able to be a blessing to the people and pray that those who need it are going to be the ones that God's going to pick out, all right? So it can't be me, me, me. It's got to be us, us, us. That's the kingdom of God, right? Give, and it shall be given back unto you, right? So, um, Lejean, that's, 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 thank you. I should, that's how I should say it. So anyway, so, uh, so we're going to do that tonight, and I'm going to point you guys out from Instagram and from Facebook, and that way I'll just go back and forth however God leads. I might touch on Instagram a little bit more. I might touch on Facebook a little bit more. But either way, we're going to have a great time, all right? And by the way, I'm looking forward also. I'm going to, I've been, I spoke last week to, um, I don't know if you guys know Kaya Jones. Kaya Jones is, uh, you can follow her on Instagram as well. Uh, but Kaya Jones used to be in the group, the Pussycat Dolls, if you guys remember her. Um, she's a powerful, powerful Christian now. I'm talking like this woman is on fire for the Lord. And she's all about, you know, Israel, um, really on fire for the Lord. But Kaya Jones, once again, she used to be in the group, the Pussycat Dolls, if you guys remember them. I won't even, I won't sing some of their songs, but just let you know that. But she's really turned her life over the Lord, has a powerful testimony. So hopefully, next couple of months, I'll be getting her. She's really booked and packed right now. But I want to be able to get her for an interview, and you guys will eat that alive. Because this woman's got a lot to say. It's really good. But anyway, so she's a, she's a cool person. Um, I'm looking forward to getting a couple more people on here that I think will be a blessing to you guys. Um, we got, we're going to be very sporadic and get different people, by the way, from all walks of life, okay? So just to let you know that all walks of life, because I want you guys to have different perspectives of how maybe God is manifesting himself in other people, uh, whether they believe like us or not. We want to be able to see the sides of God that we normally don't see, see and sometimes even as charismatic people, right? So I think it's wise to be well-rounded in the body of Christ, all right? How can the hand say the arm? I have no need of you. We need the hand, the arm, the feet, the leg, and let's just face it, the hand is far away from the foot, but we need the foot as well all right so it's going to be fun so you guys stick with me throughout the uh future and it's going to and we're going to be rocking it for the kingdom all right so let's go ahead and get started tonight um and oh by the way by the way if you guys get a chance also you can follow kaya uh, on instagram it's k-a-y-a -A, kaya jones and when you follow her promise me you will send a message and just say hey jeremy lopez from identity network speaks highly of you he says he's going to interview you soon you know because that way it, it will encourage her even more to sort of push the interview a little further a little uh closer to us all right so that would be yeah they think it's a good idea you know so definitely do that let her know that'd be awesome all right so um let's get started all right let's go ahead and pray first and just ask the lord just to bless tonight so father we just say, Lord, we ask tonight that you would bless tonight. We pray, God, that you would say only what you want to say, Father. We pray, God, in Jesus' name, that those do, that who do not receive a prophetic word, Father, would understand that, Lord, you, may, you might want to hit them in the secret place. You, want, you might want to speak it to them, Lord, in the prayer closet or maybe out in public or maybe in church. So, Father, we just say, have your way. We don't want to be selfish. We want, Lord, what you want. That's all we want. All right? We're going to have fun tonight with it, God. We're not concerned, Father, about doctors' names and what street do I live on? Because, Lord, you said you're in your word that prophecy is for edification, exhortation, and comfort. And those, Lord, are the main things uh, that we want to bring forth. Because the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. All right, so, Father, that's what we want to do. We want to line up with your kingdom. So, Lord, we say tonight, have your way, speak what you want, and we just bless you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. So, Let's start, all right? So I want to say this. Um, I want to talk to Jules from Facebook. Jules, all right, now, oh, by the way, let me say this. As I call your name out, if you don't mind, quickly, in Instagram or Facebook, quickly say, yes, I'm on here. Because sometimes people might stay on here for a little bit and say, oh, I got to go, you know, got to cook dinner or whatever. And I don't want to find myself being like, okay, you know, you, and you'll miss what God wants to say to you, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. So you make sure that you're on here. So when I say that, if you don't mind, just say, I'm here, all right? So Jules from Facebook, all right? Jules from Facebook 
if you're on here, uh, look at, man, she's fast. She's like, I'm here. All right, Jules, one thing God put in my heart for you, I love it. One thing God put in my heart for you is God said, the Lord said, I've given you insight. The Lord said, I've given you special insight, powerful, revelational insight. And God said, you get things more from what God tells you here than you do here outwardly. And God said, he's going to begin to move you into that place, Jules, where he's speaking to you more internally. Because God said, your spirit has aligned so much with the this, with this Holy Spirit, where you're walking with God in the cool of the day. And God's going to start speaking to you more intimately, as far as inwardly as well. Intimately and inwardly. And also, Lord, say this to me. is God said, you're a big thinker. You're a, you're a thinker. And hey, Kimberly, God said, you're a thinker. And God said, because you're a thinker, God said, you always like to think things through. And God said, you're very analytical. It's like, huh, let me think about that. Is that apply to me? Does this Is this what God is saying to me? Or no matter who you're talking to. And God said, that mind is what he's given you through the mind of Christ. And God said he's going to cause you to utilize that. He's going to cause you to utilize that, Jules, at a place where you will find yourself, you know, being thankful that you thought things through. And God began to tell me, God said, it's going to be a time also where I don't know where you, I don't know your status in life, Jules, but one thing God did tell me, hello from California, Michelle. One thing God did tell me, Jules, about you is God also said, I see you walking with somebody hand in hand, almost like our Lord say, like a percentage, like 50-50. I -50. heard the Lord say, it's, it, God said, you don't really, you're not capable right now, or not capable, but you're not able to really find somebody to walk with on a 50-50 level in the sense of you feeling like you can just share all your stuff that God's given you with somebody else and you could walk alongside with them without them thinking almost like, Oh my gosh, she's, you know, wow, oh, where'd she come up with this crazy stuff? Or, you know, you know what I mean? Or like, okay, you know, but God's like, I, I'm getting you to a place where there's a kindred spirit with somebody that's going to begin to walk with you, Jules, and you can share all. In other words, you, you'll, you'll be able to share all that God's put on your heart. And I feel like there's a closeness, a, a knitting together, Jules, of, of you and somebody else. Because I keep on hearing the Lord say, you really, sometimes you feel a little bit like, almost like alone in your own world at times. And God said, but he's bringing to you that strength of knowledge through relationship. And it's going to begin to be really impacting, but very powerful for you. I really get that sensing really strong in my life, Jules. Also, thank you, Jules, for saying that. That means a world to me. Uh, the other thing God put in my heart for you is, I also, Lord, say, you don't know really, and this is what God told me, God said, you don't know where to go right now. It's almost like you're like, where do I go, God? Okay, tell me, what do you want me to do right now, God? Like, you know, like like this big, you know, question mark above your head, like, okay, what, do, what are you requiring of me right now, God? Have you noticed that? You know, and you're like, okay, I know I've got this great relationship with the Lord, but you're not really talking to me right now, God. Like, okay, you're not telling me, you know, where to go. And God said, and the reason why is because God said, it's not because he spoke to you already even before and you're like being, you know, uh, you know, stubborn headed and not doing that. It's not that at all. Like literally not that at all. What God told me is God said, he, he's moving on you quietly this hour because you are in his will. Because you are that place where you're, you're just needing to sort of just be still and know and be quiet and know. And God says right now in, the, in his stillness is his answer. I love that, Jules. God said, his stillness to you is his answer, which means, and literally how God put this to me, God said, just chill, enjoy right now, let him begin to open you up. There's a lot of things he wants to show you about your childhood also, Jules. A lot of things about your childhood. I don't know if it's God wanting to heal you from childhood, but I keep on hearing the Lord say, the Lord, he wants to show you some things that was supposed to be revealed to you when you were a child that God's going to reveal to you now to where you're going to find yourself saying, Oh, wow. Thank, I, I got that, God. I got that. I got that, you know? So God's going to start speaking to you and, and take you a little bit further back and cause you to remember some things you forgot as a kid that's going to be really, really powerful for you. Does that make sense to you, Jewel? If the healing good. I, I think so too. I think you didn't get a, you didn't get some answers you needed as to why this happened, as to why that happened. And God said, and even though in the whys, in the place of our lives where we say why, 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 we should just walk by faith. God's not going to reveal the answers to everything in our lives. But Joel's one thing God did tell me is God said, but there's a couple of things you do need to know that will help set you free and bring you that strength and healing that you need. So get ready for some answers, okay? And the Lord said, in fact. The Lord said, you're, you're sort of already along the lines of the thinking process as to why this crazy thing happened or why did this happen to me? Um, I don't know if it was your dad, I, I, but I keep on hearing like the Lord say, but you've, you're along the lines as to why, but God's going to sort of validate that why for you. And you're going to be like, ah, oh, yes, God, I got that. Does that make sense? 
Total freedom for you, my friend. Total freedom. Total freedom. And one last thing I want to say to you, Jules. I know, I know this sounds a little, I don't say generic or, you know, when I say God loves you. But I want to say this honestly. One thing God did tell me is God says he accepts you. Of course, you know God loves you, but God said he accepts you. There's something about you, Jules, that is different with you. It's like, I know God loves me, but does God does God like me? Does God accept me for me? Does that make sense, Jules? And I heard God say, I accept you. I heard that really strong. So God, yeah, it does make sense good. I just heard that really strong. That's really cool. I love that. So my friend, I love you, and I hope you're you're such a blessing to the kingdom, Jules. I'm so glad you're part of our, our life, and I'm glad you're part of this world right now, Jules. You've got a lot, lot to offer. I don't think you even touched on what you have to offer in the kingdom of God yet. I really don't. All right, so starting off strong. Hey, Janet, you've become my best friend now, okay? So you're my best friend now. I'm serious. Look at you. Okay, so let's go ahead and go now to... Um, there's somebody got put in my heart on Instagram. I wanted to say earlier. Let's see here. Uh, Amanda. Um, okay, it's Amanda AAPM4. Amanda AAPM4. Are you still on here? Still, let me know if you're on here. Amanda AAMP4. I know these these are like usernames. Amanda AAMP4. If you're on here from on Instagram, let me know, Amanda, um, that you are on here. And when you are on here, I'm going to prophesy to you as well. So, so I'm, while I'm waiting on you, Amanda, to be able to say I'm on, I'm on here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross on over, cross over the dark side. I'm going to cross over on Facebook for a moment, and I'm going to prophesy to, uh, to somebody for a minute until I hear from you, Amanda, because i got something important for, to tell you. I, I think it's Amanda, A-A-M, P-M, something like that, for. Anyway, so let me know if you're on here, Amanda. Um, on Facebook, I want to say this to you, um, and that is, I'm keeping an eye on this here. Hey, Rebecca, let me know if you see Amanda on here, if you don't mind. I want to say this to Judy. Judy, oh my gosh, Judy from Australia. Um, I, I, it's been a while. Gosh, Judy, I hope you're doing good today. I know, I, I've known Judy. She doesn't realize I've known Judy for a long time, but I know Judy. I probably said to her many times before. I already feel like we know each other. Judy, uh, is it Maliquin? I think it's right. I, yeah, I never see her last name on a prophecy. I should. Julie Maliquin. I love that name. Judy. Judy from Australia. Okay, let me see this. Judy, you're on here already, right? Because I know you just said, hey, because you just had a minute. Just, just, just let me know again you're on here. Uh, um, uh, Judy, let me see. Let me make sure you're on here. Just say I'm here on Facebook real quick if you can. Judy Maliquin on, from Australia. Let me know you're on here on Facebook and just say I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. If you can. So we'll wait on you as well. And, uh, Hold on here. Let's wait on here just for a moment. I, I really feel like I need to prophesy to this Amanda person and also to you. Judy. Okay, Judy. Okay, Judy. Judy Maliquin uh, from Australia. The land down under. Uh, so, Judy, here's what God put in my heart for you. I heard the Lord say this to me. As God said, well done, well done, well done. I heard the Lord say, Judy, God says, you have ran the race. You have done so much in your life. Now, I don't know you from Adam, Judy. I don't know how old you are, how young you are. But God said this, but God said, you have accomplished so much, and you've affected so many lives in your life. Like, you've affected so many people. And Judy, God says, because of that, there's great reward set up for you. And God said, of course, you, there's still a lot more for you to do. But I heard the Lord say this, but God said, you're such a powerhouse in prayer. I don't know, I don't know, Judy, if you're just a, when God says you're a powerhouse in prayer, you must be a prayer warrior. But one thing I really feel in my spirit, Judy, is I really felt like the Lord told me that you can pray the paint off the walls. Like, like I feel like God says, you know, you're really that person where you're just like, you have this this urgency, this um, this 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 passion to pray for people. That when you do, when when somebody says, "Oh my gosh, Judy, I need this done," you're just like all over it. You know, you're like, "Oh my," you love helping people. You got such an amazing servanthood about you, such an amazing servanthood, and I really just. Uh, I really just love that about you. I really do. And I kept on hearing the Lord say this to me over and over again. Is God said, you're also at a place, Judy, where God said that because you have such a fervency and a pa passion to pray for people and to be a part of their world, I heard the Lord, and, and to make sure, let's say, that they're all their things, are all their prayers are answered and stuff. I heard the Lord say this to me. Is God said, because of that, he's got a great reward for you. Because God says, you, you just want to see people taken care of. You want them healed. You want them saved. You want them loved. And God said, God said, there's a big overflow of love coming back to you, Judy. And one thing I kept hearing in my spirit is God said this to me. Is God said, I don't know who died in your life, Judy. And I, I don't know if it's the past five years, but I keep hearing in my spirit that, that God said there was um, 
someone who died who meant a lot to you, but I kept on hearing my spirit over and over again, is God said that there is a, um, how can I say this? There, there's there's like a, a transference of anointing coming to you, Judy, where it's like God says you had someone who passed away, but their anointing is actually being passed to you. Now, what's really ironic about this, I don't hear that ever. Like, I'm not that person. But God said there is truly an anointing being transferred to you uh, from somebody you love dearly who passed away that they never got to fulfill their destiny. And it's not the fact that God's going to give you their destiny, but God's going to give you the anointing that they had that they didn't that they weren't able to use to finish their race and you're gonna have that unction of passion even more more of a fervency to push your destiny forward does that make sense to you judy i really hear that strong and and one thing god told i don't know if you have any children judy but i also heard the lord say this to me as well is i kept on hearing lord say um uh you you've really done good i don't know if you I don't know why I feel, Judy, either you've raised kids or you, but I also feel like either you raised some kids that were not yours. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I don't know if you mentored some people or maybe took care of them. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who it is, but I keep on seeing people that are not blood to you that it's almost like you just sort of act like a mother figure to them. Does that make sense, Judy? I just keep on feeling that really strong where God's like that 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 everything you ushered in, everything you offered to people who are really not even your blood, it's coming back upon you. That's what kept on here. It's coming back upon you. And God's really going to bless you because of that. And I really kept on hearing my spirit. God says, um, in fact, Judy, there's a, uh, let me know if this ministers to you, please. I also heard the Lord say, there's a Brenda. I don't know if it's, um, I keep on hearing a Brenda. I don't know if you know a Brenda, Judy, but I keep on hearing my spirit. There's either a Brenda in your life now or a Brenda coming to you. But I keep on hearing the Lord say, he's really going to um, cause you to even help other people to help, um, I almost like train them up to pray as well. Because I, and, and it's like this secret and you know how the old, there's a, there's an old saying we say the secret's in the sauce it's like a human the lord say to me judy the secret is of your prayers or love and and you're going to help help people to be able to see the power of prayers or the power of, of of what causes a prayer to work is the power of love does that make sense to you judy i got kept on sensing that and sitting in my spirit really strong also judy there's a, there's also a healing coming for you i don't know if it is a um i don't know if it's a brother or a husband but I keep on seeing this father figure, or no, excuse me, not father figure, excuse me, scratch that. This man figure in your life that God is doing some healing on. I don't know if it's the heart, but I really keep on over here, Lord, say, um, okay, wow, wow. Um, this is actually for you, Judy, and also for somebody else, but I keep on over here, say, um, he's, he's working with cholesterol issues. He's working with high blood pressure issues. Um, he's he's really eradicating some of those issues and is giving you the strength within your own earthly body as well, Judy. Um, but there's also somebody else, a, a, a husband, a, a brother, somebody else he's working on as well. That's going to that's gonna really give you that strength. Uh, and you're going to see some healing coming from them as well. Does that make sense to you, Judy? Are you, if you're on here, Judy, let me know. Judy Maliquin uh, from Australia. Let me know what that ministers to you on on Facebook. That would be a blessing to me. Brian Turner, my friend, I love you, my brother. You better come and get your butt up here, man, and see me. You and you and that wonderful wife of yours. These are old friends of mine, guys. Um, love them to love them to pieces. Okay, so let's get to Instagram for a moment. Uh, one thing I will say about Instagram, I don't think Amanda is back on here. That's probably fine. Maybe she'll get back on. But um, I want to say this to also. Um, so uh, yes, thank you. You're more than welcome, my friend. I want to say this. Can I can I shift back over to Facebook? I just get this sort of in, in this feeling from the Lord Piper um, Piper Rose. Uh, you're on here. I want to say this to you as well. I don't think you're the same Piper, my friend, in Michigan. Because I, I don't think you are. But but um, if you're the same Piper from Michigan, tell me. I don't think you are because your last name's different. But um, but anyway, but Piper Piper Rose on Facebook. Uh, let me know you're on here and let's prophesy to you because I feel like there's a, such a, a joy about you. And uh, that I want to um, that I want to speak into as well. Yes, I knew you. Were, I knew you were, you were on here, Piper. Come on, you're my friend. So awesome. So Piper, let me say this to you. I heard something really strong in my spirit. I heard the Lord say He's about to revamp your ministry. Now I don't know what you do for a living. I have no earthly clue. But I heard the Lord say you have a ministry. God said you're going to be. It's going. He's going to revamp it. Um, I heard the Lord say this to me, Piper. So tell me what this means to you. Uh, I keep on hearing the Lord say some things are gonna go are gonna feel like it's been um, okay. Wow, God said the past couple past couple of years, it's almost feel like it's in a, it's like in a lull state. Like like there's some things happening, some activity, but I keep on the Lord say it's been like in a lull state, almost like like there's an expectation of of like you're seeing your vision of like I want to take this ministry this way. Like I want to take it 
higher. You know, like I want to take it, take it higher. And I heard the Lord say this to me. As God said, it's been in a low state because he's been trying to, huh, he's been trying to get you to, honestly, to add, this is the way, to add to the name, to add to the name, add to the name. So I don't know, and I'm taking a huge leap of faith, but I feel as if you have a ministry, but I feel like the Lord says, um, I don't even know if you have a name to it, but I heard the Lord say, add to the name, add, there's, there's a little bit of addition, and there's a little bit of, um, as you do that, it'll give you the it'll give you more of that power of that nature of the ministry of what it should be now. I don't know. Uh, I'm once again I'm taking a huge leap of faith. I don't know how long you've had a ministry, Piper, but I heard the Lord say um, it's been a long time. But I heard the Lord say it's time for a revamping, but it's also time to just gut it. That's I heard the Lord say, like gut it clean um, because um, oh wow, the, when you started your ministry, you started at the age you need to start on, and God says, and now in 2024, um, it's it's almost like you know I love you, uh, Piper, when I say this to you. But God said, it's almost a little outdated. Uh, I heard Lord say, there just needs to be revamp, revamping because your, your mind has changed from the person you used to be. It's evolved, and your, your ministry needs to evolve with your mindset because it has not. And so there's a little bit of regain, gutting. Yeah, 25 years. Oh, my God. There you go right there. So our Lord say it needs a little bit of regutting. It needs a, uh, gutting out, uh, but a little bit a little bit of addition. Don't change the name. There's something. There's another name to add to the name you have. That's so wild. So that's what our Lord say. There's a, there's a name you need to add to it. Don't change it. Just add to it. And one thing God told me also is God said, you're a blessing, and you're and you're about to extend past the border. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that you are my Piper friend in Michigan, even though I don't, still don't know a whole lot about her. I just prophesied to her. But I heard the Lord say, uh, you're about to spread your wings a little bit further outside the USA. I heard the Lord say, uh, Canada is calling you. Um, Canada is calling you. Canada is calling you a little bit more for uh, some either subscribers, clients, people you're going to be able to minister to. So I heard the Lord say, there's a cry in Canada for you, Piper, for you, for literally for you, Piper. It's going to begin to open up. <coughs> so I heard the God say, um, it's going to be opening up for you. Um, also, Lord said, also, there is something about the East Coast Piper that is about to open up to, um, Piper, I don't know if you, gosh, I don't even, I mean, you know, watch you be a housewife and here I am talking about you're a minister. I don't know. But the Lord say, as a minister, God says, um, there's also little meetings popping up, uh, like Women's Aglow. Do y'all, you guys remember that Women's Aglow? I hadn't thought about that in 25 years. But it's like, almost like little ministries, like, like Women's Aglow popping up that God says you're going to be speaking at. Is what I heard, Piper. You're going to be speaking at. And God said you've really got that to be able to, uh, you've got what it takes. Now, here's what's cool about you, Piper, okay? As God said, don't look for the big churches. Don't look for, don't look for structural churches. Um, believe it or not, not to, not to bust your bubble, but God said he didn't make you really for that. He made you for smaller group intimacies because the intimate part of smaller groups is where you thrive the most because you you get one on one, you get heartfelt. Like it's like you you hit them in, you know in the heart. And 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 if you were in a big church or ministered to churches in general, it would lose the luster of that intimacy you you when you hone in on certain groups of people. So God said that's where you're supposed to be, right? Good. That's where you're supposed to be. And I see women's glow opening up to you. Okay, is what I heard. Um, the Lord also says, I, I don't know if you do anything on YouTube, Piper, but I'm going to throw this at you as well. You need to do videos, my friend. You need to do videos. If you're not already, you need to do videos. God said, get yourself out there more. Oh, I'm getting a lot for you, Piper. Also, Lord says, uh, God says, um, what makes you powerful is not the longevity or the length of your message. What makes you powerful is the shortness of, of the breath you give in the shortness of what you give your message. So it's not like the length, the length of anything. It's the shortness of what, of your message that makes it more powerful. Does that make sense? That's right. And, and so, God, so God says, so don't try to be lengthy. Be short. It's almost like short to the point, but God said, but be short because the revelation you have, if you carry it too far out, it loses its luster. And it's almost like, it's just like, what, what, was, what was it she said 25, 25 minutes ago? God says, don't. Make it short and make it because it's powerful when it's shorter to you. Does that make sense? That's what God say to me, all right? So, one-liners. Hey, hey, whatever. What, what, if the shoe fits, wear it, right? <laughs> hey, Amen, Piper. I love that. My friend tells me all the time. Uh, we I have so many friends we joke around with. So, good. I love that. Awesome. That's me. Good. I'm glad that's you. 
In fact, it's really weird, Piper, now that I look on here, because I always like to look away when I'm prophesying to somebody. It's weird because, Piper, if you don't know my friend Kimberly in, in Canada, you're missing out. Kimberly, if you don't know my friend Piper, you're missing out. So, welcome. Welcome to each other, all right? Don't forget, don't forget to buy some stars tonight. Hello. We're going to have a party here, so I need some stars, and, and uh, you know. But introduce yourself because you guys are going to be a good match, good friends with each other. Awesome. Let's get into Instagram because my Instagram people are going to be like, hey, what about me over here? Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's get into, um, okay, Judy, Judy uh, Judith Weaver. Gosh, long time no talk, Judy. Uh, Judith Weaver is, God, I've known, Judith, how long have I known you? I remember, I think I met you, uh, was it in Detroit one year, even like 15 years ago? But Judith's got, Judith, Judith has gotten prophetic words from me throughout the years. And uh, Judith, one thing God did tell me. I heard God say this to me, uh, and Judith, just let me know you're on here. This is what I just, just let me know you're on here still. Just say, hey, I'm on here. So Judith Weaver, let me know you're on here, and just say, hey, on Instagram, pop in a hey for me, Judith. Mobile, Alabama, that's where we met. Okay, we met in Mobile. That's right, we did, we did, we did, yeah. But I think you live up north, I'm mistaken. Anyway, so Judith, one thing God told me is this. As God said, um, God says, what comes around goes around. God said, um... <coughs> God, so what comes around goes around, which to me, the Lord said, um, what was done to you will be done to that person. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this. I heard the Lord say, um, there's some things that were, uh, somebody mistreated you, Judith, um, took advantage of you, and I heard the Lord say, what goes around comes around, it's going to go back to that person one day. Um, not that we're wishing ill will for people, but God said, but it's just a, it's just a harvest, harvest principle, reaping and sowing. It's going to come back on them. Uh, but the Lord said also, God says, you did not get all the money that you deserved, Judith. Um, I don't know this, but God says, you didn't get the money you deserved. And you're going to, and, and God says, you still need to uh, stand up for some of the money that you need to get your hands on, God said. Uh, there's, there's money coming to you, Judith. Uh, the Lord also said to me, um, hmm. Now, I, uh, I know you have some kids, Judith. I don't remember how many, but I heard the Lord said, God, God said, your oldest daughter, Judith, your oldest daughter, the Lord says, you will find yourself having a little struggles with her. You'll find yourself having a little struggles with her, um, almost, like a, almost like a personality conflict at times, but God said, but it, it'll, uh, it'll all go smoothly. It'll all go good because God said, um, God said, it's going to go really good. Five, okay. It's going to go really good, your oldest daughter. Um, it's going to go smoothly. And God's, God's sort of balancing out your kids, Judith. It's almost like God is, is, is balancing out your kids to, to flow in harmony with you. That's really interesting. Flow in harmony with you. I, keep the, I hear that really strong, flow in harmony with you. God said, and once again, there's something about your oldest daughter that's almost like, almost like sometimes butting heads, but God says, but, what, but the disagreements and the... You know, this grimace will will begin to fade away, and you'll see them. You'll see the the unity once more. And the Lord said, "You've been a good mother. You've done what's right. You've done what's good." And God said, "He's about to repay you uh, for um for your servanthood and your motherhood." Is what God told me to, towards your kids. That's what God began to tell me. So you've got a lot of blessings coming back to you for the times you sacrificed. Um, the Lord said, "You sacrificed. You did things that um." That you did, that you that you were tired. God said, "There's times you were tired, you were one out, but God's gonna bless you because of your endurance." Amen. God's gonna bless you for your endurance, Judith. I love that. God also tells me you have not been left alone. Um, I don't know where you are in your life right now, but God said you have not been left alone. Um, I do hear the Lord say, "What you're praying for one day, within a mate will come to you." Um, Hmm. Wow. Um, so God says it's going to happen. God said just just keep on doing what you're doing. And God said you're going to find that happening in your life coming up. And does that make sense? That's what I heard. Yes, I want to sleep for a whole month. <laughs> so I bet I bet. So God's going to re reinitiate everything He's He's uh, wanting to establish with you and bless you back with a lot of things. Okay, that's what I heard in my spirit. So Amen. Amen. Amen to that, Judith. All right. So, okay, somebody, what, moms receive that word, God sees us mothers. Amen to that. Yes, he does. God sees these amazing mothers in Jesus' name. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's, 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 let's cross over the bridge to Facebook for a moment. Uh, let's see here. Joyce. Uh, hey, Joyce. Joyce, uh, I don't know if you say Joyce Taro, Taro, Taro. Anyway, Joyce, hey, if you're on here still, let me know. Let, just, just say, yes, I'm still on here. 
All right, Joyce, T-A-R-O, Taro, I think, on Facebook. Let me know you're still on here because I'm going to prophesy. Right, look at you. She's quick. Quick. You know why you're quick, Joyce? Because we're young people, right? Amen. we, we got to keep on confessing we're all young over here. All right, so Joyce, one thing God told me is this, okay? Is the Lord said, um, God said, your education, huh? <coughs> God said, your education has not fully been used yet. Very interesting, Joyce. Hope you don't guys don't mind. I'm going to just sit this up here. I know it's in the camera, but maybe you can't see it. Maybe, I don't know. If you can't see it, just ignore it. But God said, Judith, God, I mean, excuse me, not Judith, uh, Joyce, God said, you haven't put your education to the test yet. You haven't fully used your full knowledge of what you learned educationally, education-wise. God said, but believe it or not, that's about to shift and change where God says what you've learned is about to come out more and it's going to be... Um, it's going to be fully utilized. Or let's say fully utilized. Does that make sense? Good. Right on. Praise God. And God also said this to me, Joyce. Um, now, this is not to panic you. It's a good thing. Praise God. But God said, you're actually not in the right position. I don't know if you're working right now, Joyce, but you're not in the right position. Great word to use. Not in the right position. Um, as I keep on hearing that really strong. Um, I heard the Lord say... Um, that you, okay uh mm, wow god said uh don't give up on applying i feel as if you've either applied for some jobs in the past and it was just really hard it's almost like it's almost like you've got this mindset right now joyce where it's gonna be really hard for me to find an, another job or a job you know what i mean but hold the word say no don't say that keep on trying keep on trying there is another or a new job coming for you, Joyce, where you will be fully using your education and you will love it, okay? Uh, the Lord says, you have made so many sacrifices and jobs for so long, Joyce, all right? Let me know if this is ministering to you. And God said, but now it's time for you to get in your career. You deserve to be where your foot is in the career. Amen, still trying, keep on trying, don't give up. God has got you a position. It's going to come out in due season if you think not, Joyce. All right? So everybody on Instagram and Facebook, just say, Joyce, get that job. Just just speak it. Just say, Joyce, get that job. Because Joyce is going to get that job. Amen? But I saw that really strong in my spirit, Joyce. One other thing, Joyce, I want to tell you is um, I don't know your background, Joyce, okay? Because um, I, I don't even know if I've prophesied to you before, Joyce. I, I can't remember if I prophesied to you before through our website. But if I have, but you need to get on our, our monthly program. Uh, so plug it, plug it right there. But one thing God did tell me, Joyce, is this. Is I did hear the Lord say to me, um, use your background. Um, I don't know what your nationality is, Joyce. Or I don't, I, I, I don't know if you know another language. But I heard the Lord say this to me. is You need to utilize that. There's something about your... I don't know if I want to say ethnic, nationality, but there's something about your background that is, that, believe it or not, will help you get this other job. I know that sounds crazy to you, and I, I sometimes I'll say things I don't even understand, but that's what God told me, okay? Uh, I, okay, 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 I have. I thought, I, I wasn't sure if I did or not, but I heard the Lord say that, look at everybody telling you, get that job. But I heard the Lord say to you, that's going to benefit you in your next job. Does that make sense? Somehow your background will benefit you in, in your next job. That's what I heard the Lord say to me, okay? So, Joyce, we're going to all sit together. Get that job in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the last thing also, Joyce, God put on my heart for you is I heard the Lord say that there is a... Um, um, Joyce, I don't, I don't know if your parents live near you. Do your parents live near you, Joyce? Let me know. Does your parents live near you? I'll tell you why. Because Well, let me know. Uh, does your parents live near you, Joyce, by chance? I got her probably going 90 miles an hour. Okay, I got to answer all those questions. Um, let me know if your parents live near you, Joyce, because I'm getting something from the Lord I want to share with you, but I'm asking you for a reason, okay? Um, so tell me real quick, Joyce, where your parents are at. I feel like I need to ask you that, okay? So to answer that question for me, if you don't mind for a moment, when you can. Um, and, and I was going to say this, the, while you're, while you're answering it, let me say this to you. The reason why, because I feel there is a, I don't want to say a disconnect. Uh, angels now have it. Okay, that makes sense because I, I, I want to say disconnect. Uh, but I feel like there is a, I feel like something is unresolved. Okay, so I, I don't know why I want to say this to you, Joyce. There's something that was unresolved. I don't know if one of them died instantly um, or if it's like, like, like there's something you did not get to do, you didn't get to say. It's almost like, it's like, Something was happened. Something happened quicker than you expected. Does that make sense to you? Truly, okay. Um, but here, 
Okay, hold on. I'm back home, but there, Turkey at home. Okay, okay. So, I feel as if God said this to me, is there's something just unanswered. And the Lord said he's going to speak to you of something that is unanswered to you. That's what I kept on hearing in my spirit, okay? Um, but I kept on hearing the Lord say to me that you're going to get some answers this hour. Um, okay, okay, I'm going a little deep here. Joyce, there's also something God said to me. I don't know if your family has been Christians for a long time, Joyce, but I heard the Lord say this to me. There's something breaking off of you this hour, Joyce, and everybody knows me. I'm not that demon person. I'm just not. I'm like, I don't focus on that stuff. You know, I, I, can I put it bluntly? Can I put it bluntly? I don't focus on that crap. That's what I call it because I don't focus on anything demonic. I'm here to, I'm, you know, the ministers preach on Jesus, not Satan and devils. But let me say this to you, Joyce. Um, there is a... There's a background of you, Joyce, that I feel as if it's breaking off of you. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like there's something, good word, thank you, Lord. I feel like there's sometimes, Joyce, there's things sabotaging your life, but it's not you sabotaging your life. It's not like, you know, I keep sabotaging my It's like the Lord says, there has been, I'm not a curse, I don't I don't want to go that route, because um, I believe Jesus brought all curses. I feel as if God said this to me, is there is something of a background that keeps on taunting you that's a good word keeps on taunting you and like almost like pulling you to where things are just sabotaged and you get let down easy but what i heard god say to me is god said joyce um because of a revelation god's given you things are being broken off of you like things are being broken off of you it's like i, I just see where there's a freedom coming out of you like you're like being liberated this hour but i really feel the word says even when is your birthday joyce because i keep on getting my and my spirit um God says to me that there's a, there's like, whenever your birthday is coming, God's going to set you free. Um, wow, God's going to set you free on your birthday. Interesting. God's going to set you free between now and your birthday. Thank you, Lord. God's going to set you free between now and your birthday. Because I keep on hearing Lord say, strength is coming. Um, you've got some memories, Joyce. Oh, wow. This is going to be a little blunt, Joyce. But God says, you've got some memories that you need to let go of. Okay, Joyce, you got some memories you need to let go of. There's some memories that are taunting you, and let me just put it to you bluntly. I'm a big, you know, thoughts become things person, and and you've got memories that are that are taunting you, that are keeping you of of getting the same answer over and over again. It's almost like whatever you put out there comes back to you, and you're getting the same stuff, the same like let down over and over again coming back to you. Does that make sense to you, Joyce? You know, it's almost like oh man, why it's like this cycle won't break with me. And God says, let go of the memory that, um, uh, of, uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's culture, if it's, but something of your, of your background, but God says, let go of the memory of something that happened to you and you're going to find your freedom coming upon you. Does that make sense? So, there's a memory taunting you. God said, learn to put it to rest, kill it, let it go. Let, you know, what is it? We decrease and God increases in us. Let it go. And God, you're going to start seeing between now and December, a breakthrough for you completely. Does that make sense to you? I keep on seeing that. Break the cycle. I'm from the islands. Okay, there you go. There you go. I get it completely. But I keep on the Lord say to me, it's going to break that cycle this year between now and your birthday. It's going to happen. But you got to begin to let down. You got to begin to forgive and forgive and forget a memory. Okay, forgive and forget a memory that you that's still in the back of your mind. Amen. That's what I keep on hearing my spirit really strong. All right. Let it go, my friend. Let it go. Amen. You're a blessing, Joyce. I love you, my friend. Thank you for being a part of us. Amen. you got a powerful journey ahead of you. And you better let everybody know next time we're on here when you get that job, Joyce. Amen. We're going to hold you to it. All right? So cool, cool, cool. But um, look, look at Kim. It's not my word, but I, can, but I can relate. I'm with you. So let me say this also. I've got some other people. Oh, man, Doug. Doug, it's sad we live in the same city, man, and we're not contacting each other. You, need, you, better, you better text me sometime soon, Doug. Um, let's see here. I want to, uh, Joe Vine. Okay. Uh, Joe Vine Lewis. Hey there, Jeremy. Joe Vine from Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, Giovanni. Giovanni. I'm sorry. My fault. Is it Giovanni? I hope I'm not. I know I prophesy to you all the time. Giovanni. I hope that's right what I'm saying to you. Okay. So, um, and please forgive me, Giovanni. Um, I, I'm going to pull my Alabama for a moment. Okay, Giovanni. Please forgive me. Um, because I, I also prophesied to a guy named Giovanni. But Giovanni is a woman's name. I know you're going to be like, Jeremy, uh, please help me out, Giovanni, You, because it's a woman, correct? Because I because I prophesied to Giovanni, who's a guy. Thank you, Giovanni. Okay, please. I was like, I don't know. I feel so embarrassed, but I wanted to get it right. So, Giovanni, I love that. That's a cool name, by the way, um, from Pennsylvania. 
one thing God put on my heart for you is I heard the Lord say this to me. I keep on seeing like almost like a group of people, like this big group of people, like a huge crowd of people. And we could say like the 5,000 Jesus fed. We could say it that way. And like I see you're like real far in the crowd and you're like, hello, I'm right here. I'm right here. And for some reason, it's like I feel, I feel like this teacher or this person is on the outside of the group and they're like, Giovanni, are you here? I'm looking for you. And you're like, I'm, I'm in the crowd. I'm, can you not see me? But the crowd's so loud, nobody can hear you. And it's not like you're getting, you're getting like lost in the crowd. Does that make sense? And um, I heard the Lord say this to me. Um, I heard God say that you're about to be heard. Your voice is very strong, but you have not been heard. Uh, oh, 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 okay, hold on. Giovanni, you've not been heard to the right audience. Thank you, Lord. You've not been heard to the right audience, my friend. Uh, I heard the Lord say this to me, okay? And and sometimes I'm about the good friend, bad friend, get friends out of your life, you know, or, or get people out of your life and no longer serve you, blah, 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 blah. We get that. However, I'm going to take a different role, how God put this to me, Giovanni. Um, you're not in the right crowd of people that your voice is needing to be heard. In other words, you got a, you got you you got a good crowd around you, but they're not oh, pardon me, pardon me, they're not respecting your voice. Does that make sense, Giovanni? You know, people can love you, but it doesn't mean they respect your voice. Like it's almost like, hey, we're friends, we do stuff. I talk your ears off, but when you start talking, it's almost like, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Anyway, let me tell you more about my life. I feel as if you are not in the right group of people that respect your voice but really want to hear your voice does that make sense to you giovanni to be honest with you and i think the lord says he's wanting to bring you to a new crowd now giovanni i'm gonna say that, i'm gonna be honest with you okay and i have to i have to just say this from the bottom of my heart please let me know what this means to you um i don't know if you currently go to church anywhere okay but i want to say this to you why god tells me this stuff i don't know but giovanni once again just tell me tell me if this if this means to you um, I don't feel you're a good fit for where you are right now. I have to be honest with you. Um, and I'm really, I'm fighting God left and right. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Jacob right now, wrestling with God. I don't want to say that, God. I don't want to say that. But her Lord say, you're not actually in the right crowd. You're not in the right group right now. Um, I feel as if you're almost like where, please help me out, Giovanni. I feel as if God says, and, and it's not a bad place. It's not about at all. It's just you're not in the right place for you to be heard, and you got a lot to say, and you're being shut down, and you don't realize you're being shut down. Does that make sense to you, Giovanni? Uh, I said that. I, I said that. I'll, I use a good example to all of you guys. Okay, that's listening to me. Um, I love Big Bang Theory. I'm a big, big, Big Bang Theory person. I just love that show. But if you think about it, what makes it funny, unfortunately, is they all cut each other down. Like cutting each other, and and we all laugh about it because we think it's funny, but we don't realize what makes it funny is they cut each other down. And it's almost like I keep on hearing my spirit, Giovanni, where God kept on saying to me, "You don't realize." Thank you, Giovanni, for for confirming that. Uh, you don't realize, but sometimes it's almost like you're being cut down in a passive aggressive way without you without you thinking that you're being hushed and quietened. Does that make sense? So God said, He, uh, to be honest with you, you need to sort of. Uh, Pray about getting a new group. How's that? Pray about getting a new group because you you really need to be heard. I mean, you got some really good stuff to you, and the Lord says quit. And, and God says to me, God says, quit feeling as if you're second best. I don't know if you. I don't know if it was your parents or you just grew up in an environment where you feel like you were second best. But the Lord said this to me. Okay, I'm gonna say three things to you, Giovanni. I want you to hear me good. Okay, this is what family does to each other. If you're if you know my family, buddy, we get together. We're like this. You know, we 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 are truthful people. So you're part of my family. So Giovanni, I'm gonna say this to you, um, and that is this: is number one, God says, um, quit quit with your with that low self esteem. God says, quit it. God says, think of yourself. Now, some people will say, well, Jesus never said this. I got a video the other day. You know, Jesus, I get that. But Jesus also said you can't love your neighbor without loving yourself. So we can we so we can say, well, Jesus said this. No, well, Jesus also said you can't love somebody until you love yourself too, right? So, Giovanni, the first thing God told me with you is you've got some low self-esteem. God says, stop looking at yourself as second best. Stop it, all right? You are top-notch. You are dynamic. 
Second thing, Giovanni, we're all family here. Second thing is, God said, you don't feel that you are attractive. Now, I don't want you to look like, I, don't, I, I mean, the, you know, I don't tell people this because I need some glasses, all right? I, even though I had surgery years ago. But these pictures are so tiny. Like, I don't, that's why I'm like, I can't tell if people are guys or girls, which is a good thing for me. But God said, number two, as God said, you are attractive. Quit thinking you're, you're not attractive. God said, you're pretty. And God says, and you're, and you're deflecting. Oh, wow. This is good. God said, you are deflecting people away from you because of your self-image of how you see yourself, my friend. Hello. I love you, so I'm telling you the truth. Hello. All right. And the third thing God just put in my heart, I'm talking, <laughs> oh, my God. And the third thing, so stop deflecting what God wants to send to you. Don't maybe come up there and, and, and get you in Pennsylvania. I'd be like, bad girl. No, third thing God told me with you is God said, uh, the third thing is God said, um, hold your head up high. Um, I want to say this to you. Uh, wow, a couple of things. Uh, hold your head up high. Quit. Uh, God says, you, sometimes you will. I don't know when you walk, if you walk like this a little bit. And, 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 you know, and sometimes people that have good self-esteem can walk like this. It doesn't mean you have to walk like this. But God said, you need to hold your head up a little bit, little, little bit, a little bit higher because you are equal with people, okay? One thing I'm going to tell you, Giovanni, I don't know, I don't know your health, if you have any, if you're, if you're, uh, anything about your health. But something about your back, I, I can't explain it, but something about your back, uh, I have to be very honest with you, Giovanni. I get this really strong sensing that your backbone is not completely like aligned straight. It's I, I don't know if I don't know if it projects out or not, or or if you have back problems. But I feel as if what is what do you call it? scoliosis? Is that what you call it, people? Uh, it's not really like this. So let me try to do how God should. It, it's not like your spine's like this per se. It might be, but it's almost like if I was facing the back of you, it's almost like it might like look like this. But other words, say he's fixing some things in your back. Does that even make sense? I don't know if it hurts you or it feels hard at times. But the Lord say he's he's fixing um, your backbone, your spine, that also has been causing a little bit more of the pro problems. The other thing I also felt for you, I don't know. We're all, God's all about you today, all right? I have a back injury. Oh, my God. There you go right there, Giovanni. The other thing is I see where with your spine it comes in. I don't know. I want to say this to you, Giovanni, so please understand. I, you know, I want to honor you when I say this. I don't know if you if your your hips, I'm 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 seeing the spirit almost like your hips are like this, and I don't know if it's affecting your walking. Um, I don't you know you know how you've heard people say before like sometimes one leg shorter than the other. It's not that for you, but it's like your hips. I don't know if it's something's been knocked out like that, but it's but it, it I don't know if it hurts, but there's but it's affecting your walk. Um, and 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 it's, and it's I don't know if it's um your legs as well, but I almost said what is that um. Come on, come on, come on. What do you call it? That that what is that nerve, guys? Um, is it not acidic? What do you call it? Uh, what is that nerve? Help me out, guys. The nerve that goes down your leg from your back. It's, when it when it hurts, it hurts. It's not acidic. It's that um, somebody help me. What is it? You know. Anyway, anyway, you get. But I feel as if God says sometimes your nerves even act up at times. So God said He's really starting to heal a lot of things to you. I want to say this to you as well. Um, sciatic. Thank you, Rebecca. Sciatic nerve. I also heard the Lord say this to me also, uh, Giovanni, is I don't know what doctor you're going to. It's a good doctor, but I heard the Lord say, you need another opinion. I heard the Lord say loud and clear, you need a second opinion, Giovanni. You need a second opinion, okay? Uh, you're not getting the full treatment that you are supposed to be getting. I walk with a limp. Oh, my God. I saw that. I saw that. I broke my ankle. Sadic nerve. See, guys? See what God does? I'm going to say, be honest with you, Giovanni, you need a second opinion. I don't think you're being treated for the fullness of how you need to be treated, okay? All right? Sciatic. Jody, you're about a minute late, my friend. I'm kidding you. I'm picking on you, Jody. Thank you, Jody. Sciatic nerve. I feel like I'm speaking in tongues. Sciatic. But God says you need a second opinion. You're not getting the full treatment you you need, okay? What I heard, uh, jo uh, Giovanni. And so the God said God said you would get more benefits and more um, uh, benefits medically uh, from a second opinion. That's what I heard, okay? So... Father, in Jesus' name, we just speak to Giovanni. We say, fix her back, fix her legs, fix her sciatic nerve, um, fix her, her ankle, uh, her feet, um, uh, everything, God, from top to bottom. We just speak right now healing. We don't have to bind and scream and shout. We just say, it is done, because there's power of life and death in our tongue. And we just say, Giovanni, you're healed today. And God's going to send you the second opinion doctor, where you're going to get the treatments you need as God's healing you, and you're going to be totally healed amazing i mean your body is going to be amazing my friend okay so we speak that right now 
over your life. <coughs> In Jesus' name, Giovanni. All right. Giovanni, I'm, I'm going to say something on it. I'm not pushing this, but you do need to consider also the prophetic word program because I just, I don't know. I just feel, and you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm not trying to sell it. But either way, we need to pump you full of God's word. I mean, I want God's word to to get that pain and that junk out of your system. And I always tell people, we want God's word to be medication to our body. Amen, Giovanni. I love you, my friend. I really do. Hold your head up high. You're a beautiful woman. All right. So, uh, Giovanni, I don't know if you are looking for a man or not. Um, I, 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 okay. I, I don't know if you are or not, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, God's like, God said this. God said, how you see yourself is how people are going to see you. Hello. You got, do, do you hear me? All right, Earth to Giovanni, do you hear that? How you see yourself is how people will see you. All right, there you go. We love you, my friend. So uh, let's do a couple, a couple more. Donnie, oh my gosh, my friend Donnie. Uh, uh, can I say something? To you? Donnie, my friend, Donnie Kitchens on Facebook. Um, you guys don't know this guy, but this guy is the, the sweetest guy you will ever in your life meet. Like he has become a good friend of mine. I mean, just the most amazing, amazing man, completely. And so good. I'm glad, Giovanni, uh, uh, you, uh, you you received that. But Donnie, I want to say this to you. God said this to me really strong. God said, and, and I love the scripture, and I don't quote it a whole lot. I probably should, probably should quote it more. But God said, Donnie, God said, truly, God said, what the devil has taken from you, well, the devil has meant for your harm. God said, I will repay and restore your integrity. I will restore your identity. I will restore your virtue. I will restore everything in you, the Lord says, Donnie, that man has tried to take from you. And God said, I God, her Lord said this, God says, I have tried your heart, I have tested your heart. And God said, and God said, You have been tried through the fire. And God says, and you did not get burned. And God says, and the fire did nothing more. It didn't burn you, it just purged you. God said it just purged you of not bad things that you've done because you haven't, but it's purged you from all the junk, Donnie, that has been thrown at you. You've had negative words thrown at you. You've had accusation. You've had just junk thrown at you. And God says what the, when they threw fire at you to burn you, God said it didn't burn you. It didn't consume. It, it consumed you like the bush, but it didn't burn you. But what it did do. God says, what they meant for your harm to take you down and to burn you, God said, what I meant for, what, what I'm doing for the, with the fire they're throwing at you is I'm just purging you, not from anything you're doing bad, but I'm purging you from all the things thrown at you. So God says, I'm, 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 God says, everything that's thrown at you fire-wise, I'm just using it to burn away everything that they're throwing at you to where it will just deflect from you and it will not even come nigh your, nigh your dwelling. I heard the Lord say very, very strong and plain in my spirit. You've got a lot of things coming back to you, Donnie. A lot of things. One thing I'm going to tell you also, I don't know what you're doing now. We haven't talked about this. But God said, I'm not, not, not done with you in ministry. I am totally not done with you. And you know my heart. If I felt, um, God said, if I felt for a moment, sorry, I got a message. God said, if I felt for a moment, God said, I was done with you. And it's like, hey, you know what? Let's move on. You're, you know, you, you, you know you're, you've done your ministry. Let's move on. Now I'm moving to something. God said, you, you, you will not go down. God said, God said as a ex-minister, ex you, you are still what I've called you to do, the Lord says. That season is not done with you yet. Okay, it's 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 gonna it's gonna flourish, but God said, but it's gonna be done in a totally different way. Okay, I heard the Lord say this for me, for for me as well to you, Donnie. Is there's also God says there's a little bit of discouragement there for you, but God said, but you're gonna plow through that discouragement, and God says small group, small group, small group, even for you. I said this earlier to somebody else. Small group, small group. There's a small group coming for you that's going to be that that God says you will create, you will create, you will. For lack of better words, control. Okay, uh, I don't know your background, Donnie, but I heard the Lord say people were over you, which everybody needs a board. We all in government powers. We get that. But God said you were being controlled too much. But now you're becoming the head to, I don't like to use the word control, but get, hear what I'm saying. But now you're becoming the head to control your own ministry where you will have the last say so. And God says that I will deal, I'll be your governing board as well. God says, you know, not me, but God, uh, where I will tell you, Lord says, um, we need to shift, we need to change, we need to, you know, take something down, we need to raise something up. But God said, I'm not done with you yet. 
Also, the Lord said this to me. It's God said, I'm also getting you to a place, the Lord said, where there's a couple of things being paid off for you, Donnie. I don't know if it's a um, if it's a house or a car, but there's something being paid off for you. And the Lord says, I will see to it that, that, that I don't know if you have a loan that's been lingering for a long time. You know how you know, people say like a, you know, you have the 30 year mortgage or like a, you know, five year, you know, loan on a car. I don't know. But our Lord say, there's something that's loan and drawn out, loan wise. I don't know why I want to assist you, but God said it's He's about to cause you cause you to pay it off in double time. I, I just get that really strong. Donnie, please let me know if this ministers to you, please, and you can be honest with me, please, because we're friends. But I heard the Lord say that to me really strong. There's, there's like a double time of like something being paid off um, quicker, and God's going to give you. Uh, some insight this hour as to what to do with what he's given you gift wise that will actually return back to finances it'll actually turn back to your finances all right so let me know that this means to you brother uh and guys let me just say everybody on here on here you cannot ask for a better guy this man is amazing the most loving man you ever in your life met so everybody right now just say donnie restoration no no everybody say donnie full restoration in jesus name all right so before we go we go everybody say donnie full restoration in jesus name all right and donnie you can't see it but they're on instagram and they're blowing it up and they're saying that to you, okay? So let you know that, Donnie. So you got a lot of people praying for you, brother. But let me know what this means to you as well. And uh, and everything. But yeah, let me know, Donnie, real quick, if you're on Facebook still. Let me know if this means means uh, what it meant to you. And uh, thank you. Yes, full restoration, full restoration for this man. Amen. Uh, real quick before we before we before we quit, number one, uh, where am I? Hold on. Uh, number one, don't forget, get on the book of the month program. You can buy this book now. We got some future books coming up. You guys want to get? Don't miss it. So go on Identity Network. Buy pa buy badges real quick. Buy badges real quick uh, on Instagram. Stars on Facebook because I don't want to get off here. You know, until you guys do. Amen. But let me see this as well. Uh, and that is that um, we're going to uh, get on the Book of the Month program. Uh, definitely do that. Get on the Prophetic Word program. Uh, got a lot of books coming out here. Don't forget algorithms, algorithms, algorithms. Comment way after we go off on these on the on this on Instagram and Facebook to where it ranks better. We get a lot of people watching it. It's you know it's gonna be on there. And uh, so you guys make sure you're on there as well. Uh, as far as algorithms to comment and share, share on your Instagram, share on your Facebook, get on the Book of Month program. Um, I will try my best to have some good uh, good interviews coming up here in the next couple of months as well. And usually we'll try to do it, remember, every Third Wednesday of the month, if I if we can hold if I can hold myself to that. Uh, anything else I'm going to tell you guys? Don't forget Monday mornings, 10 a.m. Central Time. I will be on this Monday morning on Memorial Day. I will be on Monday morning for you guys. All right, so I'll be here. So if I'm going to be here, you got to be here. All right. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I was going to tell you guys. Let's see here. Um, anything else? Anything else? Oh yeah. Also, uh, uh, tell customer service that. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. i got to read this. Jeremy, you are insane. My best friend Giovanni Lewis was truly blessed by your prophetic word. Oh, thank you, Judith. I appreciate that. She was a sweetheart. I, I just, I love that woman. I don't even know her, but I, I, I love her. She's awesome. So uh, you guys don't forget about that. Know how much I love you guys. Know how much God loves you. Uh, always know how I, my heart is so into all of you. I'm serious. We're all into this together in the kingdom of God. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for supporting me. Get other people involved. We love everybody. And uh, you guys have a blessed, wonderful day. All right? And I will see you guys on Monday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. I'm trying to think of anything. Is there anything else I'm missing, guys? I can't believe, uh, I can't remember if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't think there is. Anyway, anyway, I'll see you on Monday morning if I, if, if, I, if I miss anything. I love every one of you. Be blessed. Talk to you guys soon.